Hi, how you doing? Vince here. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to secure and prevent an existing block wall in an old home from caving in or moving inward any further. First off, what you see here is a horizontal split in the block, and that goes about belly button high all the way down. We're good in this area where there's an implied bay. But as you can see across here, some serious splitting going on. And simply put, you know, it's a, about a 90 year old house. It's got backfill outside, probably up to about here. And this is just hollow block. So it's inevitable. It's a matter of time before it comes in. If you take a look at it this way, you might actually be able to see how, how it's bowed inward. We'll take another look over at this one real quick. And you can probably see that from here. Hey, have an inward bow. And if you look down the wall, you might see that as well. So an engineer came in here, homeowner sold the home, home inspection failed for the structural issue. And an engineer designed a way to fix this. And here's his method of fixing. Okay, we have quarter inch by quarter inch thick, hollow four inch, wide by four inch wide so it's a four by four by quarter inch thick steel solid column and he called for a plate to be welded on the bottom six inches deep which runs this way eight inches across with two half inch bolts two half inch bolts here and the way this works out we bore a hole in the concrete pad five eighths we shoot an epoxy in there and we slam the bolt into it and let it sit. And when we do that, we let it sit loosely because we don't want to jeopardize the epoxy at all. Here's the one next to it, okay? And the way this works out, when you come up to the top portion, you're gonna see some boxing going on. Let's turn the light on if we can. There we go. And you'll see, first off, there's a plate. That plate is up under here. Now this has to be screwed in still. And all that does is that secures the top flange. That's not enough to hold back the wall. If you'll see, there's a gap in that section of the wall, but it touches up here and that post is dead level. You can see the same thing over here. You'll see a gap below touching up top. So that means this whole wall has been coming inward. So, and what the engineer had called for is a double plate turned sideways, which is what you see here, butt up against the post. Okay, and that's gonna prevent that from pushing back any further. That'll get that rigidity. So this particular column is done with the exception of the bolt being driven home. Okay, now there's another way that you can do it as well. You can come down and you can strap double plating to the bottom of the joist, come across it. You could do it that way. There's other ways to do it. I've seen guys put plating here, plating here, and then a cross plate this way. That can be done that way as well. This is, in this particular instance, that's how the engineer had called for it. So this is the finished product. And what this will do, and trust me, that's 100 plus, plant, plus plant pounds. That's gonna easily keep that wall from pushing back any further. And that's the idea. Once everything's done, you just simply take your three quarter wrench, tighten down on the bolts. They're epoxied in. If you look over here, you can actually see the epoxy that is spooged out of there. Now the epoxy itself runs about $22 for one tube. You'll get about two and a half post worth done. Okay, four holes per post. Okay, and this particular job, we have eight. We have a stray over there. We have three on this wall, we have two on this wall, and then two behind me on this wall. Okay, so again, this is something that has to be done with a municipal permit. The engineer does want it approved by the township as a secured repair. And with that in mind, the township will issue the full CO so the home buyer can complete his purchase without having to worry about a future catastrophe. Hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe to my channel. There's all types of videos on there, how to's, home repair, engineer repairs, and build outs. Thanks again for watching. And again, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell 
so you know uh, when there's a new uh, upload. Thanks again. Have a great day.